Hello guys. Hello. How many have one beer today? Right, I'm back with another beer review. It's a commercial one. It's uh well, one that I've never had before. I've had a goblin, but I've never had King Goblin. An Imperial Ruby Beer, 6.6%. Um Got a blend of finest crystalline chocolate malts and the addition of sovereign homes. Hot homes. Hops. Uh, packs full of sweet caramel coffee and earthy roasted malt flavours for a warm and seal of approval. I look forward to this. So it's got a, it has been the fridge, so it's pretty cold. Um I should let it warm up a bit, but it's all good. Right, let's crack it open. Slight little hiss. Hmm. Like and, and it's going in a hobgoblin glass, so yeah, it might not say King Goblin, but it's, a, it's all the same. Right, it's Paul the King. finger red nice red tinge to it Same red right yeah nice red tomber on it love a little creamy head on that very sweet and malty that again it's got a similar um sort of aroma of the adnams. What's it sound back of the bottle? Yeah. It's caramel and all that, it's quite common in hobgoblin type. Right, it's gone for taste. Cheers. Oh, that's a clinger. Oh wow. Really sweet, malty, fruity, and you really pick up that sweet caramel on the back. Mm. Really thick, not too thick, really low carbonation in the mouth. It's not like a fizzy or anything like that. Oh. Mm, so malty, oh wow. Oh, it's gorgeous that. If you've never had one, honestly, I'm a huge fan of Hobgoblin and I know a lot of people that I, I love it. But when I said the King Goblin yesterday and it was in the fourth that like I said that was in the four for six quid as well. Um I'm so glad I picked that up. Um Yeah, loads of flavour in that. It just really packs a punch, like fruity, sweet caramel and you know the maltiness in there and that is something else I'd definitely brew. Without a doubt, that is, oh, well, <coughs> pardon me, fucking hell, happy Christmas, <laughs> right, mm. a very light bitterness in there, but there's some biscuit in there, a little bit, Mmm, but yeah, there's so much caramel and sweetness in there, and nice fruity flavours, again, not too fruity like you'd expect from a craft beer, like an IPA or anything like that, just that really nice sort of like a sultanery kind of, kind of things you maybe expect in like a Christmas cake, um, but yeah, that is just gorgeous, that, nice little bit of roastiness in the back, all of it combined, it just balances it so well it just really honestly it packs such a punch so the odds sticking around a bit like so it's probably because it's been in the fridge um but yeah if you've never had one of them honestly do buy it it's it's well worth it honestly 
I'd uh, yeah, definitely buy that again. Like I say, like stream of bubbles, not too much. <coughs> Is there enough carbonation in that? <laughs> enough. Just how you'd expect it to be. But yeah, it's beautiful. Look. I wish I'd got more now. I really do. But it is what it is, isn't it? I'll know that you know, next time I do go, I will be buying it again without a doubt. So yeah, go check it out. Go find it. King Goblin. I love the designs on it. Yeah, try it. You will not be disappointed. Mm. Yeah, it's beautiful that. Right, cheers again for watching, guys. Um, so it was just some couple of beer, commercial beer reviews. Um, so uh, yeah, hit the sub, hit the subscribe button, like the video. So press the bell, and uh, I'll see you again next week. Cheers again for watching. So thank you, and uh, yeah, I'm gonna enjoy this. Problem is, I drink beer way too fast, even when it's strong, it just, I'm like a fish sometimes, I get big mouthfuls, when it's smooth like that, it doesn't last, <laughs> alright, cheers again for watching guys, and I'll see you soon, cheers, take care.